highlights, personal highlights, you know, turning pro too, just what the past eight, nine months been like for you? Yeah, it's been uh, crazy, pretty crazy, um, especially the last three, like winning and then turning pro. And, uh, it feels like every day has been uh, pretty special, so I've just been trying to take it in. And, uh, quite a few. How far have you come in your development, think, especially since that first season in Minnesota, which didn't lose you know, like, where you are now? It seems like so many more miles on the this. Yeah, I think I've come pretty far. Um, just looking back on where I was as an 18 year old getting drafted here. Um, I feel like I was pretty mature and coming in now. I feel like I've just matured a lot, I've grown a lot, you know, put on 30 pounds and um, just kind of grown into my body more. So it's come, come a really long way since then. I mean, I feel like I was a little kid. Like what other aspects of your game have improved, do you think? I think defensively, um, just compete level. Like, um, you know, I think the biggest change I've had is just shifting from maybe more of an individual mindset um, to just really the only focus being on winning. Um, you know, I found for myself that when I have that mindset that that's the only thing that matters, that I tend to not overthink things, play pretty well, and um, it kind of brings out the best in me. So I think just adopting kind of that mindset. It's a small sample size, but did you learn anything from the games in Wilkes-Barre? Yeah, obviously it's kind of tough coming in for the playoffs, coming in to uh, – more the off ice aspect, just with a group that's been together for so long, you feel a little awkward and stuff. But the guys did a great job, and I definitely learned just the the compete level, night in and night out, that that it takes. Um, there obviously is a playoff game, but um, every guy's fighting for a job, fighting for fighting for a spot. So um, just the compete level, day in and day out. Did you have time to celebrate the championship, or how quick was that turnaround to go to Wilkes Barre? Uh, I had a couple of days, yeah, and then it was a pretty quick turnaround. But can't really complain. I mean, I dreamed to be a pro hockey player since I was a little kid. So, um, yeah. Is there any plans to go back to school and finish up, or did you finish up? No, I haven't finished up. Uh, no plans yet. I'll probably have to talk to my parents <laughs> a little more about that. Um, but right now, I'm just focused on, on here right now and trying to make the Penguins in the fall. Tristan, one of the goals of the organization is to, at the NHL level, is to get younger and to get faster. I mean, that's been stated by everybody. So do you feel like you can be a part of the leadership of that younger group to come in and help with this sort of transition phase within the franchise? Yeah. Um, I'd like to be. I think it all starts. That's one of the messages that's, that's talked about day one of development camp, that it all starts with the captain, uh, Sidney Crosby. I mean, he comes in every single day, works his butt off, and um, I think just try to show that to the younger guys. I'm, I'm not too vocal of a guy, but uh, just try to come in and, and work as hard as I can every single day and hope guys can feed off of that. The overtime goals in the tournament, people dream of like one moment like that in their driveway. What's it like to have two in such quick succession? And just, are you proud to have that like on your resume? Just... Yeah, I'm super proud of, of those moments. I mean, obviously, yeah, I was a little kid being out in the pond all the time. That's exactly the scenario you run through in your head, so be blessed to have the puck in my stick in those moments and to score two big goals for our team and especially in those games where it's winter go home uh, you know it felt good uh, honestly in both games my, my main thought process was just especially in BU I remember more just two more days with these guys you know, I didn't want it to end and I think that was kind of a big big feeling in our in our locker room and, and in my head it was just two more days with these guys and so to, to score the goal to Get two more days of them felt really good, and we enjoyed those two days. And obviously, won the last one, so that's what counts. You moved to center last year, correct? Midway yeah. The year. I guess. How did that benefit you? And it has the Penguins have the Penguins given you any indication of where they want you to, whether they see you starting a wing or a center? And you're not going to they haven't said where they see me starting. Um, you know, I think it's good to have that versatility where. I can play both. I think for me, I grew up playing center until probably the eighth grade. And from eighth grade, more or less through my junior year, I was a left wing, aside from you know a few games and guys that go down. So I think naturally, I'm more of a center. But I think I've learned really well to play left wing. And I think having that versatility where I don't really care where I'm going to play, it's just kind of like to go out and win, uh, I think helps a lot. And, Definitely helps me as a player, just being able to be more versatile and being able to be in different spots in the lineup. But as of now, no, there's, there's no uh, specific spot they want to see me play. It's just try to develop, get better every day, and you know, see, see where things fall. Interesting. Last question. Uh, 
pasta for Tristan. Muscle, um, what did you do? Just hit the weights and eat a bunch of chicken? Or just get rolling into the brain to keep up a little bit? It's been a grind the last couple of years. I mean, I've had to force myself to eat a little more. Um, starting probably around even when I was in high school. But it's kind of come more natural to me. And, and yeah, the biggest thing has been in the weight room, just really pushing myself. Uh, realizing how big an aspect that is. And I think now that I'm starting to realize that I have put on that weight, I think it's gaining more confidence in the corners and battles and protecting the puck. And now that I have it, being able to use it more and get to the inside and use that to my advantage.